Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is a BTEC Applied Science and it's Unit 1 Chemistry and we're going to look at hydrogen bonding. Looking at the spec, you can see it's the very last point on learning aim A1. It comes under the intermolecular forces. First up though, if you don't subscribe, please do. Your support is very much appreciated. Please use a like and the comment features and let me know what you think. So before we start then, you do require a little bit of prior knowledge. So if you haven't seen the videos on polar or non-polar, Van der Waals force of attraction, or dipole-dipole, you should start there first. Outcomes then. So by the end of this video, you should be able to identify when molecules have hydrogen bonding forces of attraction and explain what a hydrogen bond is and how it arises. So the first thing we must do then is we must ask ourselves, does the molecule contain polar bonds? The answer is either yes or no. And if the answer is no, This means the molecule is non-polar and the only force of attraction between the molecules are van der Waals forces. And hopefully you've seen that video. If the answer is yes to polar bonds, Then we're going to say the molecule is polar and it will have either dipole dipole or hydrogen bonding between molecules. It all depends on what that polar bond is. So what's a hydrogen bond then? There's a misconception here that students often think that any molecule with hydrogen in it means it has hydrogen bonds. It absolutely does not. It all depends on the polar bond in that molecule. Now, if the polar bond is NH, OH or FH bonds, then it does show hydrogen bonding. Let's look at an example. So here's an NH bond. The electrons are not shared equally here. The bond is polar. And you'll have seen this on a previous video where we've looked at the difference between polar and non-polar bonds. Because the nitrogen here is more electronegative, the nitrogen atom is slightly negative, And we see that with the delta minus. And the hydrogen then is delta plus, delta positive. It's slightly positive. So let's look at some examples. We've got NH3, H2O, CH3OH. Let's look at each one in turn. If we look at NH, there's a lone pair on the nitrogen and there's three H atoms surrounding that nitrogen. We know that all three of those bonds are polar. The nitrogen is slightly negative and all three hydrogens are slightly positive. And I've now drawn another NH3 molecule. And this attractive force here, look, there's an attractive force between the slightly negative nitrogen and its lone pair to the slightly positive hydrogen on a different molecule. So this is an intermolecular bond. It's a bond between molecules. That hydrogen bond is acting between two NH3s. These bonds here are not hydrogen bonds. I have to be very clear. Those NH bonds within the molecule are in fact covalent bonds not hydrogen bonds. 
Next example then. This is water and exactly the same scenario here. We've got two OH bonds this time and there's a lone pair on the oxygen. Oxygen is more electronegative and is delta minus and the two hydrogens are delta plus. Now if we draw another water molecule they will be attracted to each other by a hydrogen bond and again making it very clear the hydrogen bond is between two molecules not within a molecule. So those again are not hydrogen bonds. The hydrogen bond is what I've labeled there in gold. It's the attraction between the lone pair delta minus on the oxygen and the delta positive hydrogen on a different molecule. Third and final example then. This time it was methanol CH3OH. And exactly as before, the OH bond is polar. We've got a slightly negative oxygen and a slightly positive hydrogen. So if we were to draw another methanol molecule, it would be attracted to the other methanol molecule via a hydrogen bond. Being very clear again that the hydrogen bonds are between molecules, not the bond within the molecule. To summarize this then, if a molecule is polar, then the molecules will have either dipole dipole or hydrogen bonds between the molecules. If the polarity is not due to the NH, OH or FH bond, then the intermolecular forces are dipole dipole. And we saw that in the previous video. If the molecule is polar because it contains NH, OH or FH, then the intermolecular forces are hydrogen bonds. So what you're looking out for is if a molecule has an NH bond, an OH bond or an FH bond, then there will be hydrogen bonds between molecules. And just being very clear again, that NH bond is a covalent bond, not a hydrogen bond. Likewise with the OH and the FH. The hydrogen bond is between two molecules. Hydrogen bonds are stronger than dipole-dipole. And dipole dipole are stronger than van der Waals. So that's the order of the strength. So you would expect something with hydrogen bonds to have a higher boiling point than something with dipole dipole. And likewise, something that has dipole dipole, you would expect it to have a higher boiling point than something that only has van der Waals, than a non polar molecule. And this is because it's a stronger bond, more energy would be needed to break that bond. That does end learning aim A1. So the next set of videos is going to start looking at learning aim A2, and we will start with the periodic table. So look out for that video. Thanks for watching.